All right, so we titled the thumbnail, Don't Buy Hybrid Tires, which means don't buy hybrid tires before watching this video first. Is it a little clickbaity? Nah, just a little, but you're here and it's probably because you're considering purchasing maybe a set of hybrid tires or also known as rugged terrain or even crossover tires. Hey, what's up guys? Josh from Trailbuild and in today's video, we're gonna go through what exactly the differences are between a hybrid tire and an all-terrain tire and which one might be better for you. So make sure and smash that subscribe button so that way you guys can hold on to the ride with us. Tires are a complex variety of different compounds, sizes, tire construction, tread design, tread patterns, load ranges, and the list goes on and on. But one of the biggest questions about tires that we get asked is, what is the difference between an all-terrain rated tire and a hybrid tire or rugged terrain tire as many of them are referred to as? Besides the name, of course, that question gets brought up all the time and it's followed up with, what's the best one for me? Well, first things first, to keep things simple, a hybrid tire, rugged terrain, or crossover tire are all the same thing. In fact, a hybrid tire has a center tread pattern more similar to an all-terrain with the shoulder lugs being more widely separated along with having a scooping type style shape to them, just like most mud terrains, giving you that blend of all-terrain and mud terrain type tire. And just for uniformity of the name, for this video, we'll be referring to them as hybrid tires. That is mostly because that's what we have them listed as in our filter options on Trailbuild. In most cases, an all-terrain tire is engineered for life on the road. The rubber composition is designed to last longer. The tread is designed in a way to maximize on-road comfort and performance, meaning that they are more quiet than your mud terrain and, more importantly, are engineered around safety and performance in all types of weather and varying road conditions, which translates into the fact that they are gonna be compromises when it comes to off-road performance. All-terrain tires are also not really great for all types of terrains and are more of a jack of all trades, master of none, so to speak, type of tire as their tread blocks are more closely grouped together and trying to drive through thick mud, for example, is an all-terrain's arch enemy. Their tread voids will pack more easily full of mud and are much harder to clean out and gain traction even with excessive wheel speed. Now, that's not speaking to every single brand of all-terrain tires out there as there are a few brands that will perform more like a hybrid tire when off-road. General Grabber, ATX, BF Goodrench, KO2s, the Toyo AT3s are just a few to name for example. All-terrain tires are best suited for those that plan on doing most of all of their driving on pavement or dirt roads with the occasional more off-roadish adventure once in a great while. Plus, keep in mind that additional off-road traction can also be gained by just airing down the tires and increasing the footprint. So then, what about hybrid tires? What are the major differences? Well, starting with the visual appearance of the tire, the first two things you'll notice are the aggressive scoop style shaped shoulder lugs with the more aggressive side biters, which are really what gives the hybrid tires their advantage for off-road traction over the all-terrain tires, including that extra mud traction compared to the all-terrains. The aggressive shoulder lugs and side biters or sidewall lugs are what gives the tire its ability to really claw and bite through the mud or getting over the rocks. Another noticeable feature is that hybrid tires, because they are a blend of an all-terrain and mud-terrain tire, will have a much more tightly packed center tread pattern than your typical mud terrain and helps aid in on-road comfort and quietness and handling performance. Hybrid tires will also have specially designed sipes that will be a variety of full tread block depth sipes, angled sipes, and shallow sipes that are designed that way to allow the sipes to grip better on a variety of off-road terrains. But not only grip better, they are designed to keep the structural strength of the tread block. The other reason a tread block needs to be more structurally sound is that tread voids and valleys in between the tread blocks are deeper and wider than most of the all-terrains, allowing the tread pattern to better envelope over the obstacles and also to allow improved evacuation of mud, snow, water, sand, dirt, and any other loose debris that might be on the trail. But at the same time, you don't want to sacrifice the tread blocks from 
potentially tearing off either, especially since the rubber composition on a hybrid tire will be made to be a bit softer than your average all-terrain. Although the ingredients in the rubber will also help in preventing cuts and tears and chipping when you're really putting the tires through their paces while off-roading. So to sum up the basic differences between a hybrid tire and an all-terrain tire, your hybrid tires will have better cut and chip resistance, a softer rubber compound to better conform to grip to the variety of off-road terrains, larger, more aggressive shoulder lugs and side biters, and in most cases will also have a thicker, more stronger sidewall on the hybrid tires as well. And like we said in the beginning of the video, if you are wondering which direction to go with and choose either between an all-terrain or hybrid tire, just look at and consider how much off-road driving you actually do. If more than, I don't know, 80% of your driving involves pavement, then an all-terrain is the easy answer, unless you're willing to give up some fuel economy, tire road noise, and a little bit of on-road handling to gain more off-road performance, well, then a hybrid tire is the choice for you. And guys, keep in mind that not every all-terrain is designed to perform well just on-road, as some do really well both on and off-road, and the same goes for the hybrid designated tires. Some perform really well off-road along with really good on-road handling and performance as well. All right, guys, that is all that we have for you today. And if you are running either an all-terrain tire or hybrid tire, let us know which one you're running. We'd also be curious as to how much driving is done off-road as well. Or even if you guys have any further questions on the differences between an all-terrain and hybrid tire, make sure and let us know in the comments below. Other than that, don't forget to hit that subscribe, the little bell next to it, and thumbs up to like the video. And as always, guys, we appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trailboats, and we'll see you guys out on the trails.